Hi, and welcome to Tech in AI Made Simple. Today, we're jumping straight into using Google Maps. No setup talk. If it ever looked confusing, stick with me. By the end of this video, you'll feel totally comfortable. I'll also show you an easy way to practice getting used to what's on the map so when you're on the road, everything feels familiar. Google Maps help you drive safer with clear turn-by-turn -turn directions so you can keep your eyes on the road. And it saves time and gas by cutting out wrong turns and detours. Let's get started. Google Maps started back in 2005 as a simple way to find places on a web page. Over time, it picked up satellite imagery, street view in 2007, and turn-by-turn -turn directions on phones. Today, it blends data from billions of location pings, traffic sensors, and user reports to suggest the fastest or even most fuel-efficient route. It's free, it works almost everywhere, and you control what location data you share. Open Google Maps by tapping on the Google Maps icon. There are lots of ways to enter a destination in Google Maps, but in this video, I'll show you my two favorite. The first way I set a destination in Google Maps is simple. If I already have the address, like when a friend texts me a meetup spot, I just type that address into the search here box at the top. If I'm heading to a business, in this example, NVIDIA, I quickly Google the business name, grab the address from their website, and paste it into the search here box on Google Maps. Next, tap directions. I can take a look at live traffic on my route so I know what to expect. If I'm curious, I can preview the turn-by-turn -turn and see which freeway it plans to use. Otherwise, I usually just hit start after entering the destination and go. My favorite way to get directions is by voice. I just say, hey Google, navigate to the nearest gas station, or hey Google, navigate to the nearest McDonald's. No typing, even while I'm driving. Google Maps pulls it up, shows me the route, and I just tap start, or it starts automatically. It's quick, hands-free, and a safer way to get where I'm going. By saying, hey Google, you activate Google Assistant. Before we dive on, help me reach more learners. I'm a new creator, so I'd be super grateful if you could subscribe, tap like, and hit the notification bell. I'd love your feedback in the comments. It costs nothing, and it truly helps this reach more people. You'll find subscribe, like, the notification bell, and the comment section right below this video. Now let's do a real-life demo. Watch Google Maps navigate me to a destination. Okay, Google. Navigate me to Costco in Santa Rosa. Head southeast on Red Wing Drive towards Circle Drive. If you don't know which way southeast is, you're not alone. Once you start moving, Google Maps sees which way the car is going and guides you to the correct direction. Before we go, let's talk about some of the things you see on the navigation screen. Tap on the X to close the app, or if you want to re-enter a different destination. MPH or miles per hour tells you what the speed limit is on the road you are traveling on. When you're actually traveling, you'll see a second box that tells you in real time how fast you are driving. This information tells you how many minutes it will take to get to your destination, how far it is from where you are, and at what time you will arrive there. This is the information you would look at if someone is asking for your ETA, estimate time of arrival. There's a handy feature in Google Maps called Add a Report. While I'm on the road, I can tap the Report button and choose what I see, like a crash, slowdown, construction, or a speed trap, so other drivers get a heads up. If my hands are busy, I can just say, Hey Google, report a crash, and it logs it for me. When a problem clears, I can mark it as cleared too. This keeps the map smarter in real time and helps everyone get where they're going a little faster and safer. This next feature is called Route Options, or sometimes called Alternate Routes. The button lets you view or switch to alternate routes during navigation. You pick a faster, shorter, or toll-free path without stopping your trip. 
The gray roots are the alternate roots. They also indicate how much time you will save or lose using these roots. Just tap on the gray line and your root will automatically change to the selected root. When you start going, just follow the blue line. That's your route. Think of the blue line as the trail. I'm simply following it. If for some reason I make a wrong turn or drift off course, no worries. Google Maps reroutes and draws a new blue line that I then follow. Sometimes your route, the blue line turns into an orange, red, or dark red line. Here is what they mean. Orange means moderate slowdown. Red indicates heavy traffic, stop and go. Dark red means very heavy congestion and blue means the road is clear. I forgot to unmute the speaker so we haven't been hearing the app talk to us. If the speaker was on, we will hear the app's turn-by-turn -turn instructions as well as information such as there is a slow down up ahead. On our route here it should be saying in 450 feet make a left turn on Farmer's Lane. Google Maps not only displays street level turn by turn instructions, it also gives you a large area display for the next maneuver for easy viewing. I promised a tip for getting comfortable with Google Maps. First time I used it, I felt anxious. What helped was practice. Running it on routes I already knew. That practice calmed me down, and before long, following the blue line, listening to the voice command, and looking at the map just got easier and easier. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Share this video with someone who is apprehensive about using Google Maps. Got a friend who's hesitant to use Google Maps? Tell me below in the comment section.